Welcome to Wokad. I mean, welcome to the land of the lion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ano 1800. I'm in the matter today, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking finally a look at the land of the lion. The last final DLC for the second season pass for Ano 1800. Venture into the land of the lions, a roaring southern continent with whose people use interrogation to help supply a whole new set of needs. Meet a local emperor who has faith his empire can be a match for any other. I don't think he have been in Cape Trelawney recently. He's have to, he will have to work extra hours. He's gonna have to work and sweat his bloody ass if he wants to compare with my empire. But okay, sure, let's give the guy a chance. Okay, let's give him the benefit of a doubt. Abandoning empire. Budding empire? Help emperor Katema bring stability to Mbessa from his new capital Tomburime. Fend off threats from within and without to bring peace and prosperity to the region. Discover Mbessa's rich history and benefit from this knowledge with new bonuses. Well, well, that sounds nice. Basically, you also get the power of water. Yeah, apparently. I mean, look at this bullshit, right? Those guys have plenty problem with toilets. But this is the thing that's gonna interest a lot of people. If you've been playing Eno for some time, and I'm saying, well, Sometime by that I mean uh, that you actually need to use the specialist to keep up with the demand of your people You've probably noticed that the Eno is a bullshit thing when it comes to RNG What that I mean is you're gonna go on an expedition, you're gonna go on a hard expedition And instead of getting like yourself a proper specialist, you're gonna get yourself some green or blue ones Yeah, that happens And it's kind of fucking annoying especially if you're gonna run six or seven expeditions in a row on hard difficulty and get exactly the same thing over and over and over again. So this baby over here is construct a monument to knowledge, build a new research institute in the old world and discover new technologies, uh, turn soil fertility, produce goods from alternate resources and find the exact specialist or machine you need. By that I mean that you're gonna pay apparently a huge amount of resources but you're gonna get exactly the item you need. You always wanted to build those really fancy layouts, you always want to get those really fancy specialists that are gonna give you a tremendous amount of output when it comes to resources. Well, this is the DLC for you. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to Cape Trelawney and see what this bullshit even work. Okay, well, it's, it's working. That's great. Only I'm reporting in. It's still loading the bag. What? Change skin? The hell? Greg is Steen heritage skin. Sure, why not? <laughs> That's nice. Do you guys have any other? No, you don't. Oh man. Oh, the performance also don't have any skin. Oh man, maybe the Zeppelin. Nope. Nope. Really? Come on, give me some more skins. I love skins, man. Like, I would love to have the Pythorian ship skins. But no, apparently that's not the thing. So we have to wait for the uh, for the quest first. Uh, to send the expedition to the new to the new continent and after that well we're gonna see also I have to send uh, one of the ship canal to land of the lion is open the Colosseum canal to the continent of Enbessa receives its first traffic of ships explorers are queuing up to the canal looks so eager so they are they to explore you the lands beyond lands beyond it's just next door what the hell are you talking about Let's right there you go the old telescope. shut up Okay, expedition fleet. These the lion. Uh, okay, so, hold on a second. Wrong, wrong, wrong button. Expeditions. Don't crash the game. Oh Christ! I think I've clicked a bit too fast. I'm this not saying the that the game is working the like shit storm. since the start of the new DLC, but it is kind of working like shit right now. Okay, where's my where's my expedition ship? Where's the lion? Yes, yes, yes. Give me a moment, woman. Where is the lion? Where is the lion? I don't see the lion on the list. What the heck? What? What? Where is? What is the? Where? Oh, there it is. Okay, send the ship. Start the expedition. There he goes. The magnificent ship that's supposed to go to the land of the la. Ah. Uh, is that way? Really? Ugh. So before I'm gonna push it to the new DLC, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you need to know that the game have received a few new tools a few new utilities and stuff like that this is one of them normally when a uh, when a when a visitor arrives at your harbor you have to go to that harbor you have to load a completely new area and then you have to click on the dock and actually accept the guy inside 
So basically from this patch onward, you're gonna get this window over here. This city is so it's a lot easier because genius. you can just press one button and you no longer have to go to the actual harbor only to get disappointed that you receive yourself some, some common specialists, right? If you're actually aiming for the epic ones, right now it's gonna be just a press of a button and you have exactly the thing that you need. How about the battle cruiser? You got any new skin? Nope. Later on I have to probably load to, to you play and see what the what heck is wrong with those ships. Oh, you have the active healing, that's why. Oh, that's why so many icons around. Okay, so apparently the land of the lion is somewhere over there. Right, move the expedition fleet. The entire expedition fleet needs to Stations. be moved. Everybody, regroup and go to the southern side of the map. Go! Send the, send the airship as well. Come on, boys. Move it! Bye! You guys, no, 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 no. You stay where you are because you're supposed to be a patrol group. Okay. The Parforian fleet is moving south. They will prepare to embark on an epic journey to the land of the lion. Now, by the way, if you're wondering what exactly I'm taking with me uh, to the land of the lion, basically nothing. I'm taking just a gigantic fleet just in case. Uh, but most of those ships are going actually empty over here because apparently the land of the lion is not gonna use any of the building materials from the old world. Unlike the new world of the Arctic, the we won't be using planks and stuff like that in the, in the land of the lion. I'm just taking with me Look building materials for the, for the ports and I'm taking with me some clay because apparently clay is gonna have some type of a usage over there. We'll see, but probably we'll end up with exporting clay from uh, from the old world uh, oh, to the land of the lion. Game. That's gonna be probably the thing. Will it actually work? I <laughs> I wish to tell you that I know, but I have Hi. no clue. In the meantime, as I'm waiting for the, you know, for the uh, expedition to arrive, let's actually see do I have any new potential buildings over here. Uh, I don't see anything, which is a surprise. There's supposed to be some new buildings around in the, in the old world. Don't tell me that that applies to the old, old, wo old world, not, not exactly Cape Trelawney. Please don't tell me that's a thing. Please don't tell me that's a thing. <laughs> Please tell me I can actually, actually use Cape Trelawney for something. Okay, I'm lacking the new buildings over here as well, so that gives me hope. Ah, great. First problem. We'll add... Uh, okay, this is literally the Mediterranean Sea. Like, look at this thing. This is basically Africa at this point. <laughs> okay. Uh, will it be Oslo or at... Also, choose your next port of call on your voyage to Enseba, Land of the Lion. Whenever you visit a port, new ports will become available. You can also attempt to visit every single port. For example, stopping at both grand rewards may come to those who succeed in this. But remember to keep up an eye on your morale. Sure? Okay, you dock at a small lively port at the northern coast. While most of your crew replenish your supplies and repair the damage suffered in the recent storm, some decide to head off exploring. Uh, okay. Seeing their distress, several young men in Berkeley clothes offer to guide them through the maze. So you got lost in the city. Oh my god, you guys are pathetic when it comes to exploring. It takes some observation, but you sailors soon understand that the mosaic of low-hanging clothes are arranged in a specific patterns. A sharp right after a spice dealer enthusiast attempts to sell crew a few years worth of orchery and red powder leads them to a small showered plaza, where two musicians are strumming many strang zithirets of rich hair wood. This is a peacefulness to this place that soothes your crew, and they try to engage the musicians in conversation to learn more about their culture. Attempt to hail them in the native town. Your crew efforts attract much appreciated surprise. Okay. Great, I've made the locals laugh at me. Brilliant, you know, this is how you know that your crew is like top of the notch, like the best you fucking as empire can offer. Before the sellers can object to yada yada yada. Uh, sure, so basically you got stuck. Right. Okay, can I get over here as well? Nice! So I have to go from port to a port to a port. There are ruins in your city. Uh, well, it's part of the scenery. Now, by the way, you probably wonder what you have to do in order to unlock the land of the lion. To my understanding, you need to have around 500 uh, artistans. Yeah, I know! Surprise! Just like in the new world. 
don't ask me how that thing is supposed to work, but apparently it is working exactly that way. So you need to have around 500 artisans, uh, and then you're gonna get the quest for the land of the lion. Is this actually worth it? As I said, we're gonna see. I completely forgot to send my diving ship as well on a small expedition. Is just in case if we're gonna find some, you know, some lucrative treasures no, to steal. I mean, it to cannot be. take. A streeter named Olipso. The light of Olipso glimmer through the spray of your sailors hasn't secured the morning. Music and mermaid spirits from the narrow streets, uh, wafting arms of warm bread and silver fish fresh from the tide. Without thrill of hand uh, up anticipation, anticipation, the sailors stream off the ship and exactly crowded into the pres precisely new yellow tram. Laughing at the rigs of into the warm night hailed loudly by festival locals. A fury of apples laughs turns to them gracefully. The heck? From which does the tide bring you? Uh, from the Grand Capital? We hail from... Second Cap Capaline? We serve Her Majesty. Oh, I'm supposed to lie. Oh. Okay. You have to drink to follow... Uh, I, I know there's the place. Follow me. Say... Uh, okay. Why the heck I have a, uh, I have a... I have a bad feeling that this is an actual trap. Refuse to order. No skill is in it. Only your choice matters. He cast a disappointed glance upon my crew. I had hoped that seamen would be more adventurous. You would insult us by refusing bread and wine offered to the spirit of friendship? Or are you simply too close-minded? He coughs. He scoffs. You can only find your way out, I am sure. You can find your way out, I am sure. Before any of your crew, uh, crew can object, he swivels and disappears in the crowd. Determined not to call the, the evening is... Uh, on so this a prank on an encounter, you head back to the tram and ride it through the city, back to the harbor. For the most circulous road available, enthusiasts remark it upon the wonders of the modern age, climb back into the tram, turn to the ship. Okay. That that looked like a trap. To the crocodile delta. To the ancient labyrinth. <laughs> Why there are no more events like this? Like, why this is only one time thingy because of a DLC? Oh, hold up. The Clipper also has Ready a new skin. Let's see. Uh, okay. I've seen better. I've seen worse. New this orders. is nice. So the Clippers have also new skins. I wonder what does the Frigate has a new skin. Uh, I should have... Okay, the Schooner doesn't have a new, uh, a new, a new skin. Uh, I think I had a... Frigate somewhere around here, but I'm not sure. I probably sunk it. Yeah, I'm afraid that was just a thing. <laughs> I've probably sunk the frigate. Oh well. You know what they say? You don't have a frigate around? Just build yourself a new one. Uh, let's see. A frigate. There you go. And I'm gonna also build myself a relationship with the line. Because, well, reasons. If you don't know, I've got a specialist some time ago that actually allows me to build the royal ships of a line. Why don't build them? Because my fleet contains of pirate ships, boys! My color is black when it comes to ships. Tomb Riders! You are alone seeking the fabled Lost Necropolis, a fable uh, that seems just about credible when I a pale golden skimmer on the wind-shaped dusk from the city of Camel. Okay, somewhere in those... Uh, out there, in those ways, beyond Cypolian bust pillars may lie the horde of kings of old, and its grazed prize, the Vigil of Or. A statue is said to be made from purest gold and in inlaid with countless gems. You step over in a busy city in a delta, not far from the supposed site of the tombs. A young woman with ad academic demavor hails you as you cross paths in the National Museum. I have found something, she says, and seek a responsible person to help lo uh, the local museum recover it. I get to help on the kindness of your heart. Sure, my heart is made out of gold. Oh, well, and you are just a wonderful lady. Uh, okay. I don't think it. Yeah, sure. That's nice. That's nice. You want to join me, but thank you so much. My ship is full. Bye. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here now. Hardy a challenge for the vast uh, seasoned navigator. The trail points out an oasis across between the two mountains, hinterlands, where legend has it uh, one of the entrances to the underworld lies, below the water. Take a leap of faith into the water. 
You nimbly climb the burning rock, you take a sharp breath as you step into the edge of the cliff, their air rushes around you as you fall. You zip into the Carolian waters below with barely a splash, avoiding a series of cruel pools that j uh, jut up from the shallows. As you open your eyes, a strong current drags you through the yada yada. You find it's awarded. You find yourself in a shallow chamber, painted with one's beautiful de uh, deception. A humble red raft cranked the sun out of the ripping waters and into the star dotted sky. The two, two dark passageways led further into the stone. The raft dives into the water beside the left door. As you rose from the water, so does the raft by the right hand door. Let's go right. After some yada yada dark passage. As you slip on an immense rubble echoes through the passage as it collapses behind you, trapped. Before you, quietly freighting waters of a hidden fountain kept from human eyes for millennia welcome you. Perhaps this is what the legends truly meant. Life in the most improbable of places. You face slowly. Wake up. Pale and easy beneath a great ceiling fan of a sweating hotel room. It seems it was about a cholera that took you on the edge of a on the edge and back again. Sure! Sure! Hallucinations! Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Let's just get to the new land. Let's let's just get to the land of the lion. I am tired of those surprise adventures! And speaking of surprise adventures, this time I'm gonna bloody prepare for the achievements, you know? So, land of the lion achievements, where are you? Okay. Build the research institute, right? There is uh, richer seafood stew production rate around uh, rate of 25 tons per minute, land of the lions. Richer population of 25,000 scholars. Oh my crap. Okay, that's gonna be difficult. Unify Vasha. Uh, unify Vasha this year. Something, 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 and something, something. Research all my discoveries at least once. D uh, the gold sink. Me, me, ti, so, do, and. The fuck? And that's actually it. Really? That's not too many if you think about that, you know? Okay, well. There's a few things we have to work around, I guess. Looks like we finally got to the canal. Uh... Okay, what the heck is going on around here? Mm, nothing. In fact, there is no trace of all... At all of the exploded ship's crew. Oh, okay. So our ship has apparently exploded just in front of my ass. Sure. Naval power. Request ship records from the canal authorities. Let's see. You take some persuasion, but you convince the officials to let you look into the cargo report of the ship. It reads FS Deux Freres, H from Aquina cleared from crossing this uh, day. Uh, tools, nothing, silence, yet something feels off. A new sailor quickly uh, remembers. FS? Uh, is that not an imperial prefix? Then why register the ship as foreigner? Slowly drafts upon you. You're assuming this was no mistake. This is not implied deliberately. It's sabotaged by your own con countrymen? It may have implications for the crown if you were to inform the locals. A loyalty is to the queen. Those people have the right to know. A loyalty to, to the queen? To the tool? Do I really want to be loyal to that tool? Known as a queen? No, thank you. It's a difficult decision to make, but your crew decides to share the information with the Coliseum authorities. Believing no loyalty should take procedure over right and justice. The canal master thanks you, Captain, approvingly, commending his honesty and ins insisting that your crew be rewarded to their integrity. Before things, uh, taking his leave, your captain extracts a promise from the grateful official that no mention will be made to anyone as to secure a uh, source of the information. Okay. Go to the holy city. Go to the savannah. Holy city sounds nice. Apparently they've moved Rome a little bit. Holy pilgrimage. Okay, good thing I took some clerics with me. Uh, tell us about the city's sacred of the land. Uh, pilgrimage, yada yada yada. Nothing interesting with server. Let's see. His eyes. Uh, you look around uncertain where to head next. Head for the temple to complete the pilgrimage. Oh, crowded flock the vast wallet country uh, out with uh, something. Yada, yada, yada. Seems friendly enough, but you still have much to do before leaving the city. Follow the man? Wait, what? Who the fuck am I supposed to follow? 
A man in plastic grab hails you from the hollow cliff in the creamy stone walls, pointing at the pastella door behind him. Follow the man. Seizing the opportunity to leave the surfy crowd, you follow him into the set of dimly lit rooms, smelling of Francis and Mir. All around walls and piled with ancient looking books and maps, tunnels of valuable learning, yada yada. Ask where he learns such a ride of languages. The mark upon the ornate book. Comment upon the antiquity of some of the volumes. Where have you learned all of the languages? A language is a heart of the people. It sounds the music of the world they hear in. Its grammar, the image of the understanding, its history under the tale of creation. He leans quickly on the back of the comfortable low chair. Eyes lost in a hazel on the one nick warmly outside the Marish window. Moorish window. So as a man could be a great blessing on your, on your journey. If you would have me, so so wise a man could be a great blessing on uh, on not on your journey. What you want to join me? Hmm, apparently no. There it is. Finally, holy shit! The last glimpse of the holy city is behind you. But where next? To the land of the lion? I thought that's obvious. And apparently another event, and this time I'm helping somebody. Okay, I don't know who the fuck is Katema. The man drives himself with a delightful fury, and where were such moral morals when your master sent his legions to drive families from their ancestor land so he could rise his multi warehouses and take such pride in it? This man is a servant of oppression, a fiend. Ah, in a sudden flurry of moment, having sensed the captain grip loosen, the, uh, the young prisoner elbows him in the ribs and leaps into the sea before he can be seized. Shoot them, sir, if you must, splutters the red-faced captain. But when the young man fails to the surface, he realizes his bargaining chip has is gone. He ordered his guns be turned. They're aiming for your crew. <laughs> well, I wish you good luck for that thing. You really think that your stupid little fishing boat is gonna stop me? Think again. Okay, well, I I, I think I've smoked them out. Okay, I plenty <laughs> aim rifles at the intruder. Wait for the intruder to some show himself. Hitting in the dry click of uh, of rifles, uh, cocket uh, and ready to fire, a voice's protest from uh, below the railing. Hold fire! I am the man that will hold in prisoner. After a moment of silence, the hair appears upon the railing, formed by the light figure of a young prisoner. Eventually discontent by the score of rifles aiming at him. Sorry for dragging you into this unfortunate situation. Those rogues sank my ship and slay my crew, and I was desperate for any kind of help. As he says this, the crew lowers his rifles a little. I feel it. they wish it to praise, prize from me my lord's secrets and plans. When I save yourselves, it seems my only reprieve, so I told them Joy Hoy Katima sent you. Don't hunt Katima. Who the fuck is that Hima? Who the fuck is that guy? Emperor Sahe Katema is the head of the front of Salavi. Oh, okay. Right. The lord of the high and lower knows as Enabas, which you may refer to as the land of the lions. Under his rule, Embessa has risen to great heights of prosperity and might, as the emperor has a vision beyond that of his precious land, a land united and bound full, a nation to rival the great kings of old. The young man frowns verily. Alas, there are those who would not see our people united. Sure! Why they attack at you? Of course, pardon my manners. I am Binian, serf of Kyria, emissary of his imperial majesty Katema. I am on a mission to seek out experts from around the world to assist with uh, the many ambitions my lord has for Nembessa. The emperor wishes for the name of Nembessa to be sung and admired in the legend, uh, Lardenness. Beauty, prosperity, and wisdom. But let you not tarry here. Come, follow me to Tomborin, where my lord will be sure to reward your uh, brave generosity. Set sail for the south, past the pillars, pluriferate plir reefs with okay flowers, cross the marsh, and you will see. It, you see it, ancient Embessa, with gold lit mountains, slumbering clients, and proud people. These. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have hats. I hope you have some drinks. Welcome to Wakanda. I mean, welcome to the land of the lion. Yani hoi, Katema. May I introduce my benefactor, a renowned city planner from the distant north. Such noble hearts are ever welcome in Mbesa. So, you heard I was seeking for talents such as yours to expand our new capital. 
Our meeting was serendipity alone, my Emperor. Then the Lord truly smiles on you. There is opportunity here to be part of a tale greater than all of us. Well, at least he doesn't look like a tool. So far, I have neglected this arid province of the Empire, seat of the kings of old. But from the dust, a garden will bloom anew. Many lives of kings has it been since last Enbesa was so united, frail as that legacy may hold. Some would see us divided, each to their own purpose, but they are blind to the greater threat. Hungry eyes turning south towards us. In unison and with pride, we will return their stairs. So must all stand to defend their share, or be eaten. And wow! So you, I would entrust the raising of Taborim, our new capital, on these lands. Okay, that's impressive. To unite all in Beza under one covenant. Young Binyam will help you settle, share his plan for the canals. Taborim may soon shine like a jewel of peace on the girdle of this great nation. Sure. Okay. You got me at the palace. I mean, my palace is bigger, but that's impressive. Okay. Right, we have finally arrived, ladies and gentlemen. It only took me like half an hour, no more, almost an hour to get to here, over here. Holy shit, my hour as I recording. I speak with you on matters of great importance concerning all in Besa. Will you work with me to help my people? Yeah, well, that's what I fucking paid for the DLC, sure. Hi, Saleh Ketema, Emperor to Millennial in Besa, and heir to the Scepter of Covenant. Bid you rest here a while, seafarer. Sure, sure, no problemo. It's nice to finally meet a, you know, a king or emperor who's not a completely a fucking tool around here. Right, get the fleet. Get the fleet and send them down. Fleet ready. Everybody. Uh, and bet. What? Order the ships to go to this region. I cannot go here. Go! Come on, my little ones, go! And Bessa. Oh, now we're going that way. Ugh. Unfucking believable. You went that way to discover it, and now you're going that way to actually sail over there. Ugh! Okay, well, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Where's my ship? On our way. Right, you guys start sailing. What I exactly need to do to build myself a port over here? Let's see. Get the boat here. Begin the turn. I just hope that I'll be able to start building before you know the other competitors are gonna arrive. <laughs> the Silva would probably love to build himself a port here. Go, go, boat, I'm not gonna allow him to that thing to happen. No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen. Lean seed, telf grass, grass, spicy, and bee. Bees? In the Africa? Really? Couldn't we just have, like, bees in the bloody ass old world? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the train. Okay, well, that's new. Apparently, I can't even use. Lumber and steel beams to build ports. I have to use the resources that are native to the land of the lion Right my zeppelin is basically almost uh, at the at the designated area the fleet is on its way the fleet only Your left people cape are starting to get sick Good thing that the airship is already here. Oh, Holy shit. Game. Okay, right look for the uh, Just go to the middle and look for the friendly NPC port and we need to get some resources to start building and settling those islands before the other will come here. Now, where is the airship? Oh, found something. Vahadasher. Chieftain of the Vahadasher. The fudge. Who? What? Your ship has ah, returned from its voyage. Finally. Okay, some backup. Uh, what? You have arrived from this side? Look at you, swagger. How? How? <laughs> What's the logic behind that? Go, Son go, of a... Okay, can I trade with you? The tomb of Esto, the great general who... Great, thanks for allowing me to read that thing. Uh, can you get here and actually try to buy something? Wow. Hey, you can actually click on those things and you're gonna get some information. How nice. Okay, I'm gonna need that thing for later on. Uh, right, let's see what we got over here. 
Hidoshi and Turing Lighthouse. Another temple! And library! Okay, but apparently I cannot buy anything from you. The heck is this? We are nomads passing through those nameless valleys. We are not part of something. Uh... Okay? Right, sure! Fine by my standards. Get the airship around and start scanning. You'll be doing like all of the, you know, scouting around. Heading Scout set. every bloody ass corner of the land of the lion. I want to see everything from the airship. And after you're gonna be done, Heading get heavily. over here. Can you buy something? No, you can't. Shit. Okay, I need to find somebody who can actually sell me wood. Ah! I have to go over here. Oh! I think this is the palace area. How do I know? Ah, you know. A little twinkling in my ass. Emperor, I have arrived. Oh, how nice. You got a schooner for me. Dude, okay, this is supposed to be your fleet. <laughs> I'm not saying it's pathetic, but it is pretty pathetic. But that's a nice palace. Wow. That is actually a very nice palace, man. Temple of Elam. Okay, whatever that Elam is. From its voyage. Ah, great. The water fleet has arrived. Fleet awaiting orders. Come on, boys. Spawn, 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 spawn the entire fleet, spawn the entire fleet, spawn the entire fleet. Attention for the Admiral. Okay, there you go. The war fleet has arrived. Get over here. I will show you a true might of a real empire. Taborim, tabernacle of inbesan splendor. Okay. Whatever you say, King. Shall you help me raise a new capital from the dust? Yes, yes, yes. Whatever you say. Now, My I need to get... Warns me you've a knack for buttering. I, sure, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Right. Ah, I'm supposed to go over here. Smart trading post. Oh, great. I've got this thing for free. Wait, I got the palace as well? <laughs> no, I don't. Wait, what? If you are to unite the many peoples of Inbeza, you must prove you can provide for them all. Of course I will. No problemo. Can you just tell me how the heck I'm supposed to get some... Right, I need to get some wood first. Uh, right, apparently it doesn't matter where I'm gonna place those things. Okay, just just spawn those things around. I need to get some basic... Uh, okay, market. I just need to get some basic building materials. So we can settle the other islands quick. Sure, whatever you say, you can ship. Noisome creatures tend to roost in the branches. Ours there you go. Okay, you have to plant. Way of life. We would rather warm goat milk than spirits. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Okay, the you airship is going doing land, heavy lifting. If you want, I can guide you around the savanna. Sure. You got yourself an agreement. No, you're not the guide. Fuck off. You reached a new milestone. I did? <laughs> that was quick. Right, the Warfleet should get here very soon. Uh, we got one more ship remaining. Aye. No, those guys. Okay, get over here quickly. Right, so we got the port. Okay, and... I just got the shepherds. Okay. And I got access to this magnificent palace. Built on the ruins of the most ancient buildings in Mbessa. The original... Palace of Kings, Emperor Katema's palace is testament to the land temperate over millennia. That's impressive. That That's actually impressive. Sustain milk production, goat milk production. Sure. As soon as you're gonna give me some more people, that is. Uh, right, construction cost, one wood. Why is this thing so shiny? Holy shit, I'm gonna go blind. Alright, just get this thing, like the basic stuff. Oh. Okay, apparently we got more buildings, boys. Sure, why not? Hmm. What exactly you need to start building, you know, towns around here? Okay, send the cargo ships first. Send this bad boy first. Come on, get over here. Uh, okay, the battleship. Uh, the scavenger is gonna go alone. Right, you guys, come on, come on, chop, chop, faster, 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 guys, we don't have fucking time. We have to build shit. I need to give them more goat milk because apparently I need one more item uh, to build parts around. Over of warm goat milk. A trying creature to herd, but so bountiful in its gifts. 
Okay, whatever you say, big boy. Right, slap those things around. I just need some of them. You know, I just need to get the resources necessary to build, start building like the proper ports. I want to get the ports done before the uh, other NPCs are gonna arrive in this region. Okay, by the way, if you own the Bright Harvest DLC, you can apparently also use the Bright Harvest in the Land of the Lion. Hello. Hey, that's another bad item. Sure, welcome. You will not spoil Screw the Screw you, I guess. Axe. Right. Okay, no, so I need to get some additional resources if I want to get myself uh, whatever other good I need to start like building the other ports. Okay, you guys just go around here. The battle cruiser is gonna protect the harbor in the meantime. Uh, the other wall fleet is arriving here. I don't Sweet think ready. I need you guys here. I'm actually gonna send you around. We need to grab the resources necessary for... Uh, for building the new ports, but I don't see the necessary stuff. Okay, looks like we have to play with the canals first. So, how it works is that you have those things, right? On the water, on the river. And you can either mine clay from here, or you can get water. And you can use the water by building those, right? You build those, you suck up the water from the from the river, and then you use the canals, and you can basically, well, bring life back to the, to the savannah. So it works more, more or less like this. Water! Yeah, look at this. Yeah, fancy. So basically that's that's the entire mechanic of the of the savannah thingy. Uh, it basically is more or less the same thing as it was in one of the previous Anno games. Uh, I forgot which it was, but uh, there was like a building called the Noria. And instead of like the Africa, you had to uh, play in the kind of a Middle East island. But the idea was very similar to this one. Basically the same. Can I get a bridge over this? Oh yes I can! Okay, that's the airship. Those guys are like, oh my god, a flying demon! No! <laughs> hide the children! Don't hide the wife, she's ugly as fuck. It's a primal force, but with willpower, with intent, it can be exalted for the good of all. Okay, what do you want from me? Water is scarce in this region of Enbesa. But Binyam and I have been working on a system. You've been working on a system. I want to see that thing, you know. I want to see actually how you work on a system. Big words. System. He digged out a little canal in the bloody ass ground and he's like, Oh yeah, we've developed a system. Yeah, it's a fancy system. It's not like it has been known to other regions for like some, some time right now, right? Nah, 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 nah. We've developed the system. Sure. We develop it. Like, I got bloody extractors, man, in my country. You know? Just so you know, my empire runs on oil. See? Okay. I got airships. What do you got? Has arrived. I also got a gunner. How about that? I'm looking for the thing I need. Musician's court. Great. Armaments. Dried meat. Hibiscus tea. Uh, but I don't see the... Where the fudge... Is the, I, the, is the building necessary for me to start building more, how to put it, harbors? Okay, they're offering some quests, so maybe I'll be able to get the building materials. Like what do you want? I should take pocket watches apart in order to put them back together. Do you want what? Pocket watches? Dude, but that's giving me money. I don't want money. Perhaps my expectations of an advisor's duties were unclear. Uh, your expectations? What? Dude, give me the bloodiest building materials. That's the only thing I require from you. Also, there's a quest apprentice somewhere over here, but I don't see the quest giver. I, th I think I'm going blind. I don't see the quest giver, even though there's a rich quest over here. Wait one second, maybe it's... I'm trying to find this thing using the map. What, in the palace? Mm, nope, from what I can see. So basically to make clothing we need to get the canals because we need to have like, you know, water here. Then you have to build linear mill, which is this thing over here. Fancy building. Hell yeah. And then with that thing you can just build yourself whatever this thing is and you're gonna get yourself some fancy... So I hope that all young people will in time come to Taborim to learn these crafts. Sure, I bet they would love to dig out your canals. But all jokes aside, ladies and gentlemen, I actually like it. It's basically like, you know, the new world or the old world, but, you know, somewhere within Africa. People it's fancy. So, so far, good, so good, right? It's wonderful. 
Okay, actually, I need a lot more people than that. A lot more than that. Okay, right. Oh, yeah, and the fire station also requires canals. So, a plenty of fire hazard is gonna be a dangerous thing around in this region. Trade union! Oh, well, that's great. Left buildings if abandoned. I can get that trade union over here, I wonder how many... Uh, how many things on the... Hello? Affects water pumps. Oh, really? Okay, affects all N7 crop farms. Productivity plus 25. Is that a fucking spider? Ugh! Disgusting! Right, but now I got the other things unlocked. Sanga farm. Improved by fetter soil and salt. Okay. Whoa, okay. Apparently we can get salt over here. I wonder how many of those I'm gonna need. Uh, sure. One minute, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, so I need two of those. Shut up, you old fart. And, okay, so it's gonna improve by water, but it's not actually necessary. So just build these things around. There we go. And apparently also this thing can use a silo. Oh, surprise! Something exploded in the Arctic. I was afraid that we won't have those events in this episode. No, 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 no. The game, of course, allowed me to have an, such a wonderful contribution to the entire thing. Thus with you, pertaining to the Empire at large. Okay, sail to Katama Island. Uh, I'm already over here. Hi, how are you? Good morning. New orders. What do you want? I am here. And what do you want? stretches from horizon to horizon. Holding such a dominion is not an easy task, and there are those who yet oppose me. Best okay. to prevent any risk of fire. Tapestries are unfortunately quite flammable. Mind you okay, so you want me to get additional information. Readily access the channeled water. Seek the uh, you know, a bit too many things at the same time. Indian? And of Kidusi and Itoni and Wahadesha in the Septentrion. Convince them we are better united. Sure, sure, sure. First, let me just build myself a firehouse, just in case if you decide over a sudden to start a fucking ass flame. How okay, not see. this. This is a legacy I would hand my people a land of song and joy. Okay, this is actually this cute. Land, th this is actually cute. I would know more of it. Ask for the uh, photo of your old war trading post. Stay the devouring flames. Ah, now you're talking. Okay, you're selling me additional goods. But you're not selling me the bricks I need uh, to start going to the next level, I guess. Okay, I just need to get more of those and I think we should be able to advance and that means we should get access to the bricks finally. Finally, I've delivered them all of the goods necessary, so upgrade. You reached a new milestone. Yay, age of community. Elders. Okay, what you want, you will have the thing I need. This thing. Thief farm and clay. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need a lot of more of those idiots. Oh, okay, sure. Everybody's invited to the party. Every single one of you morons. Let's have some fun. So I've quickly slapped uh, two of those farms. We got a lot of clay from the uh, from the from the from the convoy. So I'm gonna slap one of more of those things. So I think and I hope that the king is also selling those things right now. No, he's not. Okay, you know, remember when I said that he's actually useful? I take it back. He's useless. But hey, those houses are fancy. Holy shit. <laughs> Those guys know how to how to buy rich buildings. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Okay, well I'm unlocking a bunch of stuff, but I don't see. Wait, hold on a second. Let's go back to Cape Trelawney. Did I unlock it? What? Oh, wait. What? Let me guess. I have to probably take the photo in order to unlock the uh, the buildings in the old world, don't I? Okay, for now, don't touch it. Leave it for the future episodes. <laughs> For now, I want to get the bricks. So, building all of this thing. By all means, welcome. Building all of this, going to the land of the lion, more or less took me two hours. I've built like this. I don't think I'm gonna actually show you how I build this thing because this is exactly the same concept. And I don't have like a good idea of how the heck I'm supposed to spread this thing around. But the thing is that you need to use the canals, right? So, if you're gonna have the canal, 
uh, it's kind of annoying to use because you actually need to connect to already existing existing connected canal to see uh, the range of uh, of the said canal. So, for example, if I'm gonna build a canal over here, I don't see its range, right? But if I'm gonna drag it from already connected one, so it's the one that filled with water, then if you're gonna see this green thingy over here, see, this is the range of the canal. And this land now is fertile, right? So basically it means that if I'm gonna put uh, farms here, then they're gonna have 100% efficiency, but there's a twist. If I'm gonna put uh, a domestic domesticated animal farm over there, then his productivity is gonna increase by another 100%. So for example, a normal farm should have an output of 100 over here, right? Because it's fertile land. Uh, but for example, here I got like those cattle or so whatever this one is, cow, okay, whatever, and they got efficiency of 200 because they are on fertile land, right? So, kind of interesting concept, I have to admit. Modern farm. How nice. Huh, I wonder can I build something like that? That would be cool. You know, actually building something like this, not a box constantly. Would be actually something cool. Look, there's even my tractor. They've stole my fucking tractor. That's mine. But anyway, that's the thing. Um, building the bricks, getting the bricks is a bit of a pain in the ass. So just so you're gonna be aware of it. Ah, shit. I'm gonna need clay for this bullshit. For the ceramics workshop. Okay. So for sure we have to establish this one ship that's gonna be bringing clay. Lots and lots of clay over here. But then on the other hand, there's gonna be a lot of resources coming out of this land uh, to the old world. Because we'll have to supply the apparently new, technically speaking, tier in the old world from the goods from the land of the lion. So, you know, basically a two-way route. So that's fine. I also have to fix some of the routes uh, that go to the, to the uh, new world. But right now I'm trying to collect bricks. It's a pain in the ass. Just so you're gonna be aware of it. Uh, collecting the bricks is an actual pain in the ass. I really don't know what to tell you about it. It's it's just it's just pain. <laughs> they are getting built so slowly. Holy shit! This is like the slowest farm, slowest production chain in the history of this game. I don't remember anything that's more slower, more slow than this. It is an agony, pain and agony in a game, in a logistic game. That means a lot. Okay, that actually means a lot. But then again, well, you have to build a bunch of those things in if you want to ever get yourself out of this island. If you want to actually get yourself some more, uh, some more harbors and stuff like that, you need to get the clay. I mean, you need to get the bricks. Yeah. So remember not to waste the canal range thingy on, for example, on underneath a building that's not gonna benefit from this thing. Just build it underneath. A farmland and everything is gonna be gold. Everything is gonna be beautiful. Everything is gonna be so pretty. There I go, do something like this. Continue the canal here. And yes, there's of course the natural existing uh, fertility over here because of the river around. So that's like a thing. It's a wonderful thing. It's a good thing. There I go. There I go. Right. That should help a little bit. I probably need one more farm, right? How many of those I need? Uh, actually, no, one is one is okay. I just have to slap this brick production somewhere over here in the savannah Okay, well, this is slowly progressing I have to admit slowly emphasize on slowly So ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good moment to relieve this episode as over here We're gonna of course continue this thing during the future episodes, but in the future episodes what we're gonna do. Oh Oh fuel glasses great Seafood stew. Oh shit, really? Wow, I just cannot wait to get this thing. And there you go, another tobacco. Oh, this is new. So I have to bring tobacco from the new world to get pipes. Okay, sure, why not? I mean, if you want to kick me in the, in the balls, then you're doing exactly that thing right now, game. Okay, those production chains are gonna be a pain in the ass. What? What do you want? What? How does one extol the glory of the Lord in such miserly temples? The gates of the holy realm are gold and basalt, not raw wood and lead. 
Okay. Is your god made out of pure gold? Provide us with gold. <laughs> you want me to provide you with gold? <laughs> okay. Right, where's my airship? Send the airship to the to Cape. Good thing I got like a huge surge of gold over there. <clears throat> Send him. Uh, okay. Send him to Cape. Bring some gold. Holy a shit, that's gonna be a problem. Right, already. so, ladies and gentlemen, this is slowly and steadily progressing. As I said, uh, I'm looking forward into this DLC. This is actually a DLC that I'm hyped on. Despite all of the shit I've given the, uh, give it to the to the DLC at the very beginning of this episode, I'm actually hyped. I really are. So, uh, yeah, for now my city looks like a complete trash back on fire. Trash can, whatever, trash container on fire. I know, I'm completely aware of that thing. So we're gonna, of course, work on it. Uh, during the future episodes and after that well i don't know we'll see but i kind of hope that we will bring glory to this <laughs> to this village i mean after all we are next to the imperial palace right so i'm kind of thinking that later on we're gonna of course move the uh, farmlands to a different land to a different island and we're gonna actually try to make ourselves a proper city over here but that's gonna be the thing guys man i'm gonna try to focus on during the future episodes so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed like the episode please help us a lot and see you in the next video.